Right here in my hand is the MHP, the Moonshine Horsepower Monster Series head. And we get a lot of phone calls and questions about it in this port, the big square opening and what motors or what engines require this and how would we do our builds. So I'm Jamie Lima, Moonshine Harley Davidson, Moonshine Horsepower, and I'm gonna dive into our Street Fighter Series engines and then the big boys that require the Monster Manifold. So the main reason we came out with this square port is because we stuck large valves in the head. There's plenty of room in these bigger motors and in the heads for a larger valve. All of our Monster Series heads are currently coming with plus 2.5 millimeter oversized valves compared to a stock valve, and that's per valve. So this is a pair of our titanium intake valve Monster heads, and the port was needed because of the curtain area that those larger valves have, they were needing a larger intake port, which this cross-sectional area right here was a pinch point in the old head, which was this guy. This right here would be your port for a 131 head from Harley-Davidson, their extreme head. So this is a Harley-Davidson 64 millimeter extreme intake manifold. It's got their nice CNC port work in it, but they're limited. They're limited by the casting and how much they can take out of the port because of the design. So noticing that that was a restriction in allowing more air into the head, we had to come up with something new. The Monster port in all of our Monster Series intakes, our Monster Series heads, and our Monster Series engines run the square port. And the square port has a lot more cross-sectional area. If you look, I can put the Harley-Davidson round port which we're putting the outside diameter inside of our port. That's how much more surface area or cross-sectional area is in this port. Now we typically go to a Monster Series setup like this when we're going to 135 and larger cubic inch M8 engine because it's just requiring more air in. We will on occasion put a set of these bad boys on a 131 of a big cam you need short race exhaust, they'll make 170 plus horsepower. But typically, the main factor is when we do a case for. When we do a case for, that is when we are saying you're getting our Monster Series engine set up. So we do really robust Darton sleeves. These are made out of ductile iron and they are thick. And because we want to keep a thick spigot down here, we don't want this to distort at the bottom. We are doing a case bore to allow as much material as a sleeve in the bottom of the engine as possible without sacrificing the strength of the case and allowing it to maintain rigidity through the life of the engine. So right behind me, this is one of our 143 cubic inch Dominator builds that we have on the lift. It's got a pair of our MHP Lightning Rods from CP Carrillo. You can always tell if there are rods because they're gonna have our logo on them. Um, they're gonna have the relief pocket in the top of the rod. They're gonna have these two grooves in the bushing to allow oil to get to where it needs to go, which is the bottom and the top. But you can see here, I remove the plug. So you can see the case board. We've removed material here to allow for the larger cylinder and the larger cylinder spigot to be able to be inserted into the case. You can see how we go around the piston jet oiler. That way our sleeve can go all the way in. We are not only taking material out of the case for the sleeve to go in, we also have to take out some material in the case here to allow the piston to come out the bottom of the sleeve a little bit and not contact the case. We also do steel case stud inserts when we go into this. You just have a little more clamping power with the steel case stud inserts into the case. Uh, makes it more robust. And especially if you're gonna maybe rebuild this motor down the road and you're gonna be pulling these out, we don't want the aluminum threads to pull, so we're putting those steel case stud inserts in. Um, real nice setup. This motor, these are beasts on the street. They're making 180 plus horsepower. Well, you know, 143s, we see them 175 to uh, you know, mid to upper 180s for a street motor, depending on what exhaust you're running. Nine finger fabrication makes these. If you're building motors and you're doing them over and over, awesome to have. Real easy to put these in. Make sure nothing enters your engine case. Once the motor gets a case bore, because it's 135 or larger cubic inch engine, we are going to the Moonshine Horsepower Monster Heads 
we are going to the Moonshine Horsepower Monster Intake Manifold, and those engines are considered our Monster Series. Anything 131 or below is considered our Street Fighter Series. We have an intake like this that we get from Harley-Davidson, but we run our 66 millimeter port program for those Street Fighter engines, and they're awesome. They make 160 horsepower on 131 cubic inch. Really nice setup. These are just the big boys. On the Monster Series heads, we have two options. We have an option to go with titanium intake valves, which this head right here has. We have another option to go with stainless steel valves. The stainless steel are gonna save you money. Titanium is a little nicer, it's lighter. Uh, your valve train is gonna love them. But we offer two different versions. They are Inconel exhaust, so they're stainless steel Inconel exhaust valves. They are coming currently with a 640 PSI spring in them. They have titanium retainers, and they have tool steel billet locks. They're really, really nice heads. I mean, they're the best parts we can source, and man, we've just proven these things to run well and be monsters over and over. If you guys are interested in getting some pricing on our parts, or you're thinking about having one of these builds in your bike, click this button right here. Talk to the team. There's a lot of different options. Everyone wants to know pricing. There's options for different intakes. There's options for different throttle bodies. We're kind of a la carte as we build your setup, so it's good to talk to either myself, Jamie Lima, you'll talk to Stock Nick, Aaron Stottinger, or possibly Cedric. Those are the four guys you want to talk to our shop. We have 50 employees, but those are the four that are designing the builds for you guys or taking care of your parts orders. So make sure you get a hold of one of them. Also, if you send us an email, please include your phone number so we can call you and talk about it. It's horsepower at moonshineharley.com. Bad news is once you have a monster series engine, you always have to have one. Be careful.